Hello, this is Math on 45, day 14. We got a few more cases to deal with in this business of solving triangles. So let's talk about the case ASA. That means two angles are given and the side in between them. Um, This turns out to be surprisingly easy. Look at this example. Even side B is four, angle A is 30 degrees, angle C is 40 degrees. Find the angle at B and side lowercase a. And the first thing is always, when you've got two angles, the third one is pretty much given to you on a platter. B is 180 degrees minus A minus C, which means it's 110 in this example. After you've got all three angles, you can use these law of signs to find any other side. So for example, um, to find this lowercase a, you can use this flipped law of signs and you know the side lowercase b. So I'm gonna go with this ratio. Solve that for a, side lowercase a. And we get a is, four divided by sine 110 times sine of 30 degrees, which is going to be some weird number, not a nice number. Anybody can put that into a calculator. And similarly, we could find the last remaining side, lowercase c. What if we are given two angles and a side which is not in between? Again, you find the third angle first and then use law of signs. So no need to worry about that. But the last case, when we are given two sides and an angle which is not in between. That is amazing. Um, some people might call it hard. Other people might call it interesting. ASS. And to make this clearer, we always will do the case where we're given the angle at A and the side that is opposite and side C. So what can happen? On one hand, I want to calculate the altitude that is um, starting at the vertex B. So sketch this triangle. This A and B. So that's the side lowercase c. We know that. Then we know the angle at A. So imagine like a fire truck raising this ladder. a very specified angle that's also known. But we don't know how far this goes. And the last one, 
the side opposite A has a length. So we can draw this with a circle centered at B. And we'll get something like this. So that would be a circle with a radius lowercase a. And why does this altitude matter here? Altitude starting at b um, perpendicular to that opposite side goes like this. Call it h and we calculate the length of it. That's going to be uh, a leg of a right triangle with hypotenuse C. So the leg is C times sine A. And what I've sketched here is the case when lowercase a is bigger than H. bigger than h, then that circle will intersect this ray that I drew in two points, here and here in my sketch. So we get two possibilities for the triangle. This is the only case where you got three things that are given and they determine the triangle but there's two possible choices. So not really the triangle, there's still two possibilities. Um, okay, but we cannot do this if A is actually bigger than C. So this applies only in the case where the given side A is between H and C. get two possibilities. And we'll do an example for how we calculate this stuff with the law of signs in lecture. Next, let's talk about what happens if um, A is bigger than Z. Let's try to sketch this. We again start with side AB, also known as lowercase c. We got the angle at A given, and we've got a really long side lowercase a that's given. So we make a circle about B with that radius, and because it's longer than C, it'll intersect our, our slanted line here somewhere down there, like this. So down there, that doesn't count as a triangle. That doesn't give this angle that was specified, okay? The triangle was supposed to be on the inside it was to be around here. So only the triangle up there counts, and this is only one possibility. This was the case when the given side A, opposite this given angle, is longer than the other given side. Only one possibility. Last case, given side A is less than this altitude H, and that is here's the altitude, and your given side lowercase a is really short. 
and it's too short with tiny little stubby arms to reach that slanted line. There's no intersection, so there's no triangle that has these properties, no possibility. To wrap this up, let me mention that something similar can happen when you're given three sides of a triangle. Um, so we call that the SSS case, and, and we can be given three sides. The longest side cannot be longer than the sum of the two shorter ones. For example, given A is 3, B is 2, C is 10, does not exist such a triangle is impossible. But if we have this um, satisfied that longest side is less than the sum of the two shorter ones, then you can apply that same technique that we did last time and actually figure out all three angles using the law of cosines. Okay, examples in lecture and we'll move on to lesson 12.